Hey folks, it is time to cut into the window or cut a window out of this thing. I'm going to get my drill real quick, put a, a drill bit in it, drill the holes, and then start cutting. And I just heard cha-ching on my phone. I'm gonna grab it to see what I just sold. Okay, I've just sold a set of four Stoger vintage catalogs. I don't know if you can see that there. I've mentioned um, vintage firearms catalogs in the past. These are from the 40s, um, I would say 40, 49, 57, 60, sold four of them for $49.97 plus $7.25 shipped. So a lot of these vintage books like that, if I'm drawing a premium price, I go ahead and ship priority mail. Just, uh, that, that's just the way I do it. But anyway, cool sell there. Like I said, I always look for those um, vintage, those old uh, weapons catalogs and check the comps and see what they're going for. Particular ones to look for is the shoot the Stoger S-T-O-E-G-E-R. I've sold quite a few of them over the last year. Um, so I guess consider that a bolo. Now back to work. Safety first.
So, theoretically, if I drill out these rivets, and if I cut all the way through, uh, that plywood should just fall right out. Finding a way to do things when you can't find the tool that you wanted to use in the first place, that is the definition of redneck ingenuity. The only thing I have to really take into account for is I have to cut to those beams as well. I'm thinking I'm just going to set the depth and cut those first and then cut from the other side. I think it would... I am so torn. We'll see what I do when I get okay, there. Well, I thought I'd dry fit the window to make sure that it is going to fit and I got my measurements right. I did go ahead and drill those rivets all the way out. Okay, well it looks like I missed my line just a little bit right there, so I'm going to go ahead and trim that up. Okay, let's try it again. I think that's gonna work. I'm gonna try something real quick. I wanna see how rough that's gonna be if I just go right through the aluminum from this side. I'm just gonna run a test cut. Everything's gonna be trimmed out on the outside. So. I think that's gonna work just fine. The only thing, I'm gonna have to get my jacket and 
put it on because that aluminum is a little bit warm. Okay, I got long sleeves on. Again, I am not a professional. Do not try this at home, but here we go. Okay, it's probably gonna need to be trimmed up a little bit. I don't know if you Of course, that's got an old blade on it. But where I ran into a problem was where I was cutting into where this beam kind of curved in. So I was going through what looks like about a quarter to a half inch aluminum all the way along there. But. I think I'm probably going to have to trim there. Definitely not the top. And possibly right in there. Now, excuse the heavy breathing. I'm an old, overweight man. But you can see where I got a little bit off my line right there. But the beauty of this project is, is there's a lip I don't know if you can see it over there on that window. <coughs> There's a lip right there. I have that much leeway. So that'll cover that up. And then I'll just frame it out on both sides. But let's see if we can get this puppy up. I might have to, I'm gonna have to go get my ladder. Okay, well, I haven't got my ladder yet, but I just wanna go and dry fit it to see if I do need to trim anything up before I go do that. Um, let's throw this thing in here. Like a glove. Okay, I have faith that's not going to come out of there. bought some self-tapping screws to throw in there to hold it in. I think it's going to be good. Okay, well I got my self-tapping screws here. 
you wonder what self-tapping screws are if you've never used them. I'll show you what they look like. Basically, they, so you don't have to drill pilot holes through your aluminum. Let's see if you can see that. It has that little end right there, and it kind of, it acts as a little drill bit, and it'll drill right in there. So that's what I'm going to use to attach to the right in there. These little quick release, there's a lot of drills that come with them, but I have an actual bit that, oh, it should just snap right in there. I don't know why that's not locking into place. Of course, it's going to make it difficult for me here. Well, I'm not getting that all the way down in seated. Well, like I said, it should just pop right in there, but it will serve its purpose. Okay, let's attach it and be done. So it seems what's going on is I'm drilling through that double plate where that joist was, so it is not working well there. So now I've got a drill bit, just a bit smaller than the diameter of the self-tapping screws. I'm just gonna start a little, I'll do a little uh, pilot hole in those ones that were going through double walls. So. Okay, well, another strange addition to my plethora of video content out there. There it is, our new service window for the newest ice cream truck. Next thing we're gonna go through, I have to clean this all out. And then at a minimum, I'm going to paint this plywood white. Haven't decided if I wanna do the ceiling or not on this one, we do do the ceilings on the other ones and then I'll put a nice indoor outdoor carpet on the floor and then over here where the service is for power I do have to run uh, run wire out and around I probably have a large freezer here and a large freezer here I think that'll do it 
but that will be the next project is at minimum cleaning the walls once I get everything painted I'll go ahead and trim this out just to make it look a little bit nicer as you can see there's where I went way off my line just to clean this up a little bit I had to go back a little bit on these corners just to make sure that I have the aluminum on the outside I did go completely different than what I was originally going to you know originally I was gonna mark the outside and cut the aluminum that way but I said you know what the hell it's an old saw blade let's just cut all the way through since I knew it fit from the inside and I didn't really show you yet, but let's look at the as you can see this is that lip I was telling you about oh, I do have, I have one more screw to put in there this is that lip I was telling you about that covers any imperfections that I may have had during the cut and when I showed you before you can't even see that that was there and yes I probably could have caulked that in a little bit but these trucks are primarily parked on the inside so I wasn't really too worried about too much weather in it so yeah well thanks for checking it out and I uh, hope you enjoyed it I know it's yeah it's a little bit different but this is a uh, part of my life as a eBay hobbyist or part-time reseller my wife runs the ice cream trucks full-time so I am L maintenance man so anyway, that's it for today. We'll catch you next time. Peace out. Oh, all the YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, thumbs up, the bell, the whole nine yards. We'll catch you later.